Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. Recently, I have been involved in a little binder swap that was initiated on Facebook. J.M. Mansai Lee was offering her gray medium-sized Kiki K time planner in exchange for a personal-sized Kiki K ocean, and I did have the ocean. I have talked about the ocean before in a video which I will link down below. In that video, I mentioned that the zippered pocket inside the front cover was unusable and that I found the bulk of the zipper really annoying. And I did use that binder for a while, but I ended up shelving it. It's pretty and I like the blue color of it and I think the metallic gold dots are really dainty, but the zippered pocket really interferes with my enjoyment of the planner. So I responded to JM's Facebook post asking for a photo of the inner pockets of the gray time planner, and she did show me the photos I requested. And because I did not see a zippered pocket in it, I agreed to the swap. So she sent the gray time planner to me and she also said that I did not have to ship the ocean to her right away because I might want to make a comparison video and that was really thoughtful of her. And she also sent me some other things. Let me show you. She used the exact same packaging that came with the planner complete with the price tag. The tag on it says 3,995 pesos, but she said she bought it on sale for only 800. It was brand new. I think one of the bookstores here in Metro Manila was having a really mean sale for Kiki K binders, and I thought that was an amazing deal. The box is gray, and it came with an elastic and a little round tag. The tray compartment slides right out of that gray box and the planner is nestled inside, wrapped in tissue. And here is the planner itself. Inside, JM included a little note and also the day marker, which she asked me if I wanted. And I said yes, because I wanted it to replace that makeshift day marker that I created for my binder. And she also included these envelopes for budgeting. She made these herself. She posted about it on Facebook before. And then she also included these stickers. These are branded art and journals, and that's JM's own brand. And these stickers feature her own art. You can buy her stickers, and I will leave links for you down below. I think these stickers are really quite pretty, and they are very unique. So now let us take everything out of the binder so we can look at the binder itself more closely. These gray colored cards were in the pockets and they are just a welcome note from Kiki K and some simple instructions on how to open the rings. The back cover has this gray colored band and there is also a small notepad that's also Kiki K and it's really really cute. The front cover has a secretarial pocket and inside the secretarial pocket is a tag saying 80% polyester and 20% cotton pertaining to the fabric lining of the binder and the tag also has a care instruction and a notation of where it's made. It's made in China. The rings are tight, they have no gaps and the rings are 30 millimeters in diameter. And I do like that. If you have been to my other videos, you would know that I prefer and actually need larger rings. Although I have been able to make it work in 23 millimeter rings, but rings larger than that are certainly welcome in my planning life. I have observed that the spine is a little wonky, just like the ocean, which I will show you later, but that's okay because from what I have seen from other people's videos of their Kiki K, this seems to be a characteristic of Kiki K binders and it's not a smooth curved line. I think the grays are very pretty. I have been on a gray streak since about October. I have been really loving all shades of gray. I think it's a very underrated color that is really beautiful and no two grays are ever alike. The thin band of metallic gold leather is a nice touch, although I would not have minded if the entire binder were just shades of gray. The snap closure seems sturdy and the gold snap button has the usual Kiki K branding on it and it has an elastic closure that is also great to match the inner lining of the binder. So now let us compare this binder with the Kiki K Ocean. 
Both are personal sized and both have 30 millimeter rings and both have gold hardware. The Ocean just has a more brassy, more yellow gold on the rings than the one on the gray and I kind of like the muted color on the gray one better. And then of course there is that zip pocket on the Ocean <laughs> that I mentioned before. The Ocean is made of Safiano leather, meaning it has a sort of very fine cross hatch pattern embossed on the surface to give it a certain kind of texture. The Safiano leather is on the entire Ocean binder, but on the gray binder, the striped lining that you see here is made of fabric. The rest of the materials on the gray is made of leather. On the back of the ocean, the Kiki K logo is gold stamped at the bottom and on the gray it's debossed onto the leather instead. Both binders have pretty much the same dimensions, the same wonky spine shape and pretty much the same everything else. The only difference is the materials used and the pocket configuration. I really like the gray and JM herself has explained why she wants the ocean instead. She's aware of the difference in the materials used for the ocean and she knows about the annoying zippered pocket but she still wants the binder so I have sent this to her together with my last unopened pack of cream colored Tomoe River paper with a 5 millimeter grid. I have used this paper for my planner pages during 2016 and since then I have moved to the blank version and then further on to the Midori MD paper so I will no longer be using this pack. I have videos about the papers that I used in my planner in my YouTube channel and I will link all of them below. I did transfer to the gray Kiki K right away. At this point in time, I have been in my Filofax Savannah, given to me by Janet Carr in 2013 as part of a project she had on her blog called This Bug's Life, which I will also link in the description box. And I will also link in the description box a video that I made of the Safiano when it first came in. I have been in this planner since about December 2017 and I will also link below the setup video for this planner at that time. And the Savannah is a little bit too stuffed and I love this binder but it's vintage and no longer available so I do not want to wreck it. So when the going gets tough, I usually transfer to a binder with larger rings. To transfer to the Kiki K, I merely lifted everything out of the Savannah and placed them into the Kiki K in the exact same order. Easy peasy. I do not really obsess about how my binders are set up. Once a setup is working, I don't redo it. I just switch binders as needed, but the contents are exactly the same and in the exact same order. But when I placed a card at the bottom card slot, the cover got this deformation so I took the card out and that cured the deformation just a little bit but not completely. One last thing I have observed with the Kiki K is that it lies flat on its own but it looks uneven and the root of this is probably the spine but that's a very minor thing so I don't mind it. I do like this binder. I'm still using it now and I even brought it with me on a trip recently. I will link the vlog down below. Thanks so much to JM for initiating this swap. If not for her, I would still have the Kiki K Ocean but I wouldn't be using it. I hope she enjoys her Kiki K Ocean just as much as I am enjoying this gray one from her. And that's my video for you today. Thanks for watching. Bye!